All right, let's get back to some topics. Former NBA coach Phil Jackson revealed to Rick Rubin that he hasn't watched a basketball game since 2020 because of the Black Lives Matter logos and slogans. Wow, the audacity. Well, what are your thoughts on this foolishness, Vivica? We're going to go to you first on this yeah, one. Girl, you know I'm a two fan. And when I saw that come up, I was like, Phil, mm-hmm. now you have all people who mm-hmm. have, yeah. I mean, it was disappointing. And I'm going to let yes. the other girls carry it on, but that was completely disappointing. And, um, Damn, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Being a true Chicagoan from the Bulls, and he has led so many Black players to the playoffs with that team works, you know, team ethic. I am so shocked and surprised that he would even... What does that matter, Phil? I don't I don't understand. I, it's got to be... Uh, uh, nope, nope, nope. Uh-uh, I ain't going for it. It's something else to this. It is something else to this. He, we left out something. They didn't. They didn't tell us something. <laughs> Unfortunately, Lisa Ray, it's nothing else to it. Yeah, I read down to the story, and basically, he was just kind of saying, you know, it kind of made the game goofy, like to see all the different names. My thing is this, you know, in the same tone as Vivica, you know, I'm very disappointed in Phil, um, but. Phil, you have to think, this is the problem with white people who are in alignment with Black people. Um, You put the game of basketball before George Floyd dying for nine minutes, before Ahmaud Arbery, um, before uh, Breonna Taylor, you know, before inequality and before the entire world and culture. We need, those, those boys were in a bubble. They also, they also felt oppressed in a way. And we were in a we were in a time so stressful on so many levels. We needed that camaraderie. We needed to see those positive images because we were bombarded by negativity every day. So I'm very disappointed in him because he he bumped his head on that one. He missed the fact that you put a game over people's you put a game over an entire movement. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You min- you made you minimized it and made it like it was nothing. Oh, when it muddied up the game. Well, tell that to Ahmaud Arbery's mother. Mm-hmm. Tell yeah. that tell that to the pe- to the millions of people around the world who march for equality. Like yeah. it, it I was like just to careless. It I was like to careless, pay- and I'm disappointed in Phil. I like to piggyback on all you ladies' comments. Phil Jackson. You would be absolutely nothing without your partnership with Michael Jordan and the tons of other black players that made you the the icon and legend you are today. To only support black people when it makes you feel comfortable and it lines your pockets is absolute ridiculousness. I'm not cussing tonight because it's our three-year anniversary, so I'm going to behave, but F-O-H with that. I am so sick and tired of white people that profit off of black people's efforts and tears and blood. But then when we need you to step up for us, you know where to be found or this offends you. Beside the victims, the players that had to be uncomfortable. So you're uncomfortable seeing slogans. Imagine how it is for your black players showing up to work and have to play through the game, knowing people that look like them are being gunned down. Shame on you, Phil Jackson. Be less like Phil Jackson and more like Coach Popovich, who gets it right every single time. Agree. He gets it right every single time. Because there are white men, white coaches that get it right. But why can't you, Phil? Why can't you? Your slip is showing. You got it? Sometimes you just got to shut what they call the Uh, heck up. I'm going to say this. You got to just do it. Bye, Phil, Leisha. Okay. (laughs) Okay. All right. 